Hello everybody! Today we're going to learn how to draw the character from our story, the Pout Pout Fish. We are going to learn how to draw Pout Pout as both a sad fish and as the kissy happy fish that we love. So first, we're going to draw the sad fish. We'll start with the eyes by drawing two circles. And Pout Pout, when he is sad, he doesn't open his eyes all the way, so we are going to draw top and bottom lids using our rainbow and smile lines and putting our pupils in the center. This makes him look like he can just barely hold his eyes open. Now for the shape of his face we will be using an oval and the oval is going to be kind of a squished flattened oval because he is not holding himself up very well. For the sad face you're going to draw three sad face lines. This is going to help us make the sad face into big, pouty, sad lips. Closing the shapes off at the end. Perfect. We're even going to add some lines underneath his eyes just to show how sad and tired he is. Now for the fins. How Pout's fins are dragging on the bottom of the ocean. They are just so heavy and floppy. For his top fins, they're very droopy, so you're going to kind of draw some droopy triangles. Almost looks like spiky hair. Now the top of his tail is drooping over, and we're going to make sort of a mustache shape. So it looks like a squished letter M, and then you're going to draw your rainbow line. This will make the mustache shape of the top of the tail. And then two curved lines down to connect it to the body. Pout Pout Fish has a striped tail, so we'll want to add some curved lines. Very good. You can even add some lines on the tail to show the texture. Now, let's not forget Pout Pout Fish's purple polka dots. We will add some polka dots onto his face. What an interesting looking fish. Now, if you'd rather draw Kiss Kiss Fish, you're going to want to follow these directions. When we look at Kiss Kiss Fish, we're going to draw him from the side. So instead of using an oval, we are going to use a sort of teardrop shape for his body. Go down, around, and back. The pointed part is where you add his mustache shaped tail. He almost looks like a whale. Add in that striped details. Now, from the side, you can only see one of Pout Pout's eyes, and it's more open than it was before because he's happy. Just like before, we will be drawing three smile lines. And we'll want to erase the edge of the face so that we can round them to make them look really kissy and pouty. Very good. All right. Now, we're going to look at Pout Pout Fish. I'm going to add in his polka dots again. These we will color in purple later. You want to place in the side fin. You'll only be able to see one. Feel free to add those texture lines. And then we'll have a top fin that we will add. And it's going to look a little more happy looking than it did before. Okay, so you are going to draw one fish today, either Pout Pout Fish or Kiss Kiss Fish. But that's not all. We need to add a background. Our fishies are in the ocean, and so we need to think about ocean details to add. And in our story, the artist, Dan Hanna, had these awesome hills of sand. So we're going to draw some of those hills in. You can put in as many of those sand hills as you'd like. And our hills are going to be floating until you put in that horizon line. That's the line that's going to show the bottom of the ocean. 
So Pow Pow, when he's sad, he is going to sit on the bottom of the ocean. We can quickly add in some starfish and some shells and some bigger rocks. And any extra little details you think you want to have in your ocean. Feel free to look again at the book and see what sort of animals Pow Pow talks to into the story. I'm going to add a little crab on top of this sand hill. I really like how Dan Hanna draws his crabs. I think they're very cool. And we want to make sure to add those details on our sand hill. And then in the background behind Pow Pow, we want to think about what we might see in the background. Maybe we'll see Mr. Jelly. Or maybe you'll see a little school of smaller fish way off in the distance. And they're going to be so little because they're very far away. Those are just ideas. You can use your own ideas for your background. I might even put a few swirls in. So those are your choices. When you're done, you're going to trace it in Sharpie. Good job, guys.